All right, fellas, got a little uh, Amazon tool haul here. Uh, picked up one little item at the Dollar Tree. A surprise secret Santa present showed up in the mail. And uh, a little mail call. Tools and trash. One of the better new channels out there on YouTube. And uh, uh, I like this guy a lot. Been on a couple live streams with him on other people's channels. Need to have him on mine one of these days. And uh, if you like plier reviews, this guy right here knows his pliers. Even got one for the new toolbox. Oh, and also, Jared Milky Way, he sent me one, uh, he sent me a Christmas card and uh, had a couple of stickers in there. I think his is the first sticker that ever went on my tool cart, so. Yeah, now he's going to be joined by the old uh, tools and trash also. This is what we have at work because we have a 55 gallon drum of alcohol based brake clean. No stickers? Come on. This right here is a direct uh, copy, rip off, knock off, whatever, of the Sure Shot that you can get for uh, like 90 bucks. But I'll leave a link in the description. These guys right here from Amazon, they're around $25, $30, somewhere in there. Uh, real simple. All you do, dump whatever fluid you want in your hole there. Tighten her up. Uh, I want to say that that is a 24 millimeter. 24 millimeter, also known as a 15 16 Tighten her up. Uh, this is going to get lost pretty quick. And you just fill it up with regular old air. Uh, air out of your compressor or whatever. Uh, when you do this, make sure that when you put your air on, you only touch it for a couple of seconds. And then take it back off while your air is still running. So that you don't force back feed any of that alcohol shit back into your rubber hose. So make sure you tap it on there while it's going and pull it off while it's still shooting air out of your hose because you don't want to backfill that. But uh, yeah, these these things work great. Um, we got them all over work. Uh, one in my own. All the other ones in the shop are red. So this one being blue, I know this is my guy. Uh, like I said, uh, you can buy these, this vapor brand right here. I think um, you can buy them from like O'Reilly's or AutoZone, and they only want like 40 bucks for them. But like I said, cheaper on Amazon, link in the description, all that jazz. Um, I may get a video of putting something in this and uh, going ahead and shooting it and showing you just how great it is before this video gets uploaded. So if that's not in here, then I didn't do it. But if it is, I did. I do not know if my Mac guy has the triple square RBRT bits. So I went next best thing, Capri, for some uh, triple squares. Oh, there you go. See, look at that. Yeah, another toolbox sticker. That's a company that cares. Send you a little sticker. These are uh, M456, 8, 9, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. And like I said, these are the best ones on the market out there as far as these bit sockets are concerned. Um, even guys who have the snap on ones and they get the Capris. They like the Capris better. The Capris don't twist. You know, I. I've got snap-on torques and hex and all that stuff and yeah they do kind of get to twisting on you. I don't know if that's because they're a special softer metal or not. But these S2 from Capri, uh, strongest bits out there. And I'm not saying you can't break them because you can break anything. All kinds of channels out there you can break anything. Part number on this guy, 330. 30030. 30, 30. Here, these top three are all security and the rest of these are not so 
But this kit right here, like 25 bucks. Uh, I think it's even cheaper than that. Comes in the old uh, blow molded Capri case. And, you know, if you like your cases, these are pretty good cases. You even have the steel pin right there on the hinge. So, you know, you pop that out, lay it down in there. Lay it down in your toolbox as just the bottom tray. Or do it like I do. Keep it in the case and, you know, just buy a bigger toolbox. See, damn near already lost that. Now, the secret Santa. Um, I do not have any idea where this come from. Matter of fact, the only address that was on it was my address, my post office address. And uh, I guess we'll see together. So, the old standard zip tie, it's actually a big guy, huge, uh, great, great zip tie right there, be able to use it forever and ever. The old shop towel, or a cleaning towel, I don't know what yellow means, but yeah, I don't have a yellow one, now I do. Oh, that's like my favorite Tommy Boy quote right there, I tell that shit to my kid all the time. Because, uh, you know, doctor and all. Uh, come with a uh, Merce. Oh, there's a tag on it. Let's see what it is. And reveal. No. Oh, SOE. How fucking I know a guy who talks about this SOE shit all the time. Bottle opener. Yeah, that's nifty. Always need an extra bottle opener. I wonder if Otto Von Dan has one of those. Oh, that's a Kershaw 1086 Dyskin Design. China! Might be a good carrier there at the shop. Leave it in the toolbox, make sure I already have one. Nice little flipper. I love those little flippers like that. Yeah, that's a cute looking knife. S.K. Wayne, 11 sixteenths. That's uh, got a little bit of cleaning up to do on her, but that's a good quality wrench right there. Oh, there's another S.K. It's not a Wayne, that's a 5 eighths. This is in the 60s. This is S.K. Dash 7. This is probably 70s, 80s era raised panel. Here's another SK. This is an S.K. So it's one of the newer guys made in USA, so it's not from the FACOM era. Most all SK stuff was still made in USA, even though, even when FACOM owned them. But they had some other shit that was kind of, you know, not from the USA. Yeah, that's a good, it's still a good looking wrench. Oh, there's a 5.8 snap on. A little short guy, not a stubby, just a regular. Actually, that might be a short. It might be a snap-on short. Uh, it's got the thin box end on it there. See that? That's a good wrench right there. Thin box end. See that? Even on these raised panels, thin box end. And looks like we got some wrench sockets here. 18, 18, 11, 16. Three quarter, three quarter, five eighths, five eighths, nine sixteenths, that's good one. Seven sixteenths, and three eighths, there you go. And all those are the westward. I already have this complete set, but um these are uh these do come in handy. These are the types that let's see. I got a wrench here. Let's see. Five eighths. Yep, I got one. No, I got two. You got right there. Snap her in. And get in tight for the win. Easy peasy. Look, it even it even reminds you right there. It's five eighths. Yeah. Good stuff. Uh, don't make this kind of stuff anymore either. Well, 
couple of them might. I think Astro Pneumatic, they have a low profile set that you can put in a wrench, but I want to say it's 17 millimeter only. These all have different sizes for, like all those pins right there match up to the actual size of the socket. Nifty. Very, very handy. I think I know who sent this to me, and um, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll try to beat around the bush and see if I can't figure it out or not. May have to hop on the dark web, go get me a grinder account, search the Pacific Northwest. But yeah, I, uh, this is a handy dandy, handy dandy little Christmas gift there. Oh yeah, that's perfect for my channel right there. SOE, Special Operations Equipment, made in motherfucking USA. You gotta love shit like that. I may actually start carrying around a purse. As always, like, comment, share, subscribe. Love, hate, hard knocks, forge, gmail.com. Don't send me any paintings. They never fit. All right, so I got her filled up. I got a little bit of the good stuff in here. And uh, we're gonna see just how far she'll shoot. There's no air in it right now. So press her down, nothing comes out, so. Take the condom off, just so you know, this guy right here, the old valve stem, the Schrader valve, was out a wee bit, so they may not compress that o-ring in there from the factory. We'll go ahead and see if she holds air. That's all she needs, quick little, that's it. Now let's go shoot it. Need more juice. Okay, and one little quick addendum to the uh, spray cane here is inside here you will find a spray nozzle. That little guy. You can take that out and instead of a nice fluffy cloud spray, you get some serious juice coming out of there. That's what you want. Or at least that's what I want. Yeah, I'll go ahead and keep that little nozzle. Just because it might work great for something else. I don't know. We'll see what all we can put in those and get back to you later. And before I forget, the uh, there's the information on her. And part number is one nine four two four again link in the description you know as always